Hey everybody, today's video is about our new training program. Um, I want to take some time and try to explain this so hopefully everybody can um, better, better, better understand what it is that we're doing here and uh, how it's going to benefit them. So we've uh, somewhat recently been doing it a little while now, but we've in, integrated a uh, conjugate method for our training methodology that we use here at the gym. So I'll talk a little bit about what that is, how that looks, and then we'll kind of go into the purpose of it. Um, the, the method that we're using here is, is uh, based off a five day a week program, and it runs for a month. So each month has a uh, movement focus. Each month has a movement focus um, that you'll, you'll work on at a dedicated point each time. So, Monday, and we'll use a, a press as an example, Monday is your upper body with upper body assistance work. So you'll see that on Mondays when we're doing upper body. If we have a movement focus of a back squat, you'd see that on Tuesdays where our lower body and lower body assistance work. Um, so each, each week progressively kind of gets heavier. It goes from a more volume to a heavier uh, lift. So it starts off with three to four sets of 10, 10 reps. Um, then it goes to a five by five, then a three by three the following week. And on your last week, heavy singles, doubles, or uh, even maxes. But we still have the, our same philosophy of we don't really max out more than about twice a year probably. So um, with each, each of the different movements, so Monday is always going to be an upper body plus upper body assistance work. Tuesdays are lower body with lower body assistance work. Wednesdays are gymnastics with a longer conditioning time. So we're looking at something like over about the 14 minute mark. Really um, working on getting to that higher end of that glycolytic phase, even um, pu pushing a little bit um, higher up to uh, towards like oxidative work where we're really trying to really test how much sugar you got stored up in you. And then uh, Thursdays are Olympic lifting. We'll, we'll, we'll be drilling different types of Olympic lifts. Um, but the same thing, even with the gymnastics and the Olympic lifting, they still have a dedicated uh, movement focus so that you will see these things repeatedly, have a chance to practice them often, and be able to get better at them. Um, so on Thursdays, the Olympic lift, and then we have a shorter conditioning time. So something that's usually a lot more intense a lot more glycolytic demanding. And then Friday, active recovery. Um, it could be a competition day, or we can even use that day for uh, things like mental grind or stuff like that. Saturdays aren't factored into the programming. Those are still a, kind of a free-for-all day. We tend to try to have more fun, maybe some partner work, or um, if we have something going on up here at the gym. So um, the purpose of kind of seeing it this way is so that, again, you have a chance to practice these things a lot more and really make progress on it. This is a very stepwise linear approach. Um, many people here have even done the uh, Windler, the Windler program, and you, you can kind of see some similarities even with that. It's because it works. Um, the person who created the conjugate method is uh, Louis Simmons, and he is uh, the owner of Westside Barbell, which is a, it's a powerlifting gym. And this, this gym puts out literally just the strongest people in the world. So if there's somebody that breaks a record in a lift, they're coming out of Westside. And um, this, this, he has been doing this for years and years and years now. And um, he kind of put his method out there for everybody to learn and use. And so we've decided that that's what's probably going to be best here is to take, take away the randomization of exercise and put a deliberate focus on on movements so that you can improve with it. Um, we've determined like the, the randomized kind of approach, really, it, it can help for a short period of time for somebody who's just beginning, but once they get anywhere from like four, six, seven months along, there, you'll see your results, your, your gains, your progress to really start to <clears throat> really start to drop off at that time. So to uh, combat that, we, you need a program, something that's gonna take you from point A to point B. 
And that's what this will do. This will also help people to schedule. So you can see, you always know what we're gonna be doing here. Um, so you can, you can make the arrangements as to what you need to be here for, what, if you have to miss for one reason or another. And you'll know what you will miss, so if you need to work on something more specifically, then there you go. We can uh, make up certain things, so like say you uh, can't do Wednesdays for some reason, whatever it is. Um, you can always, always do like a, something like one of our skill sessions or anything like that where you get with a coach to work on those individual movements that you might be missing at that time. But it's important for us to take out the, to, to take out the, the guesswork at least on one end so that, again, if, if, if your schedule is kind of shifting and so is ours, you could potentially go a couple months without seeing a lift. And that will definitely hamper your progress on it. So if you have any uh, questions about the, about the new program or uh, any, anything, you can drop us a comment on Facebook or um, ask us in the gym. See you then.